Welcome back. You Much think possible. we're going to see a lot of musical laning at the beginning? Yeah, exactly. definitely. Yeah. definitely. That, Choke that's... points and just executing in fights rather than re relying on the simplicity of I use spell, I should get killed. True, true. Meanwhile, you got all sorts on the other side. Spear, meanwhile, Kuroki being hit down and they're going to find him with the Jingu yeah, here. It it's annoying to play against a Quop, but if it was any other hero here, they'd be very much punished. DK can actually sustain his way through, utilizing his courage. Yeah, he's going to get himself shackled up, and Funnick now looking for nice. the spear. Does find it in the end, but he's quite tanky on this Elder Titan, but not tanky enough. So much damage coming out from opponents. Beyond clutching at the straws here, like this is this is not looking uh, looking ideal. Meanwhile, Mind Control, he comes back to lane and trying to take this double creep wave he's made for himself, but he's immediately getting hit by Nex, but he's going to turn around with the Pit of Malice onto Nex, and Miracle's actually turning up to this one. Nex could be in some real trouble. He's low on HP, but Bound Strike going to heal him up nicely. Oh. Meanwhile, while the Cycling comes out onto Roger on the sidelines, but Nick would bring a lot of heroes down here to the bottom lane, but Poshka kind of joins in team and running away. They want to they really kill this bug. Alive. Yeah, he can't jump onto the trees because of the bugs. So really good placement there. Oh, stop just about missing, but Miracle still chasing the right clicks coming through, dodges that one and the side. They managed to grab him just in time. The Poshka saving the day, but in comes the plasma field and down goes the monkey. Meanwhile, Kuro trying to get himself Denier. away. Nice. Denier comes out from my control. Meanwhile, they get the kill onto Maposhka. Kasani getting the jump away to safety, but everybody else will be dying. I feel like Kasani might move into that, and then you've got another problem for the Weaver to deal with. We'll see if he decides to go for a Lincolns or something like that. Meanwhile, well, Static Link out, but they've managed to get the grab. It's actually Kuro who Static Links him himself somewhat as he gets beaten down by the monkey and the Maposhka. And this is kind of the best thing that they can do now, Enigma. Utilize the catapult, try and pressure this tower, and then open up the map through the tier ones. Kasani they can have the jumps tail. upon here. The sleep's coming on through as well. And is he going to get dropped in time? Oh, no, he blink. gets a blink across, but there's a bug on him. They need to get rid of it. Maposhka will help. Nah, but he's Miracle, gone. he's still looking for it. Although Hex comes down. Kasani trying to run himself away, but does run in and finally get himself killed. And Maposhka going to be heading the same way as well. Nothing to be done about that as uh, Nygma are able to find themselves two kills. They were trying to find the wraparound on Hellraiser, actually. And they oh, are still going for this one right now. And there's that arena coming down. But the bug immediately gets himself out. Meanwhile, he's just like, well, I wanted to push the tower anyway. I don't might be in here, and now they turn around and get some one dragon one. threads from Curry coming up from behind as well. Nick's turning around, doesn't have the Jingu though, will not heal up, but gets himself killed off as well. Funnick trying to run himself away on the Mars, turns around with the spear, but the stun comes out, the dragon tail connects, and that is going to be another hero dead. Hellraisers with a great start to the laning phase, but the moment we start breaking out into these fights, it's the instant smoke, not waiting for item, item timings. That's very that's very clear. Oh, if they go for this kill, they might regret it, and they certainly are. Funnick throwing down the arena of blood, and Postco immediately going, oh god, they're here, they're they're coming for me. Funnick realizing he needs to run himself out. Meanwhile, they lose Maposhka. Funnick on the run now. Miracle, though, on top of him. And there's that side link connecting from Kuro as well, surrounding Funnick and getting them that kill. But look at the numbers. They instantly run bottom. So really good play from Nygma, just baiting out mind control there. Yeah, not quite so easy that time to uh, to kill off that underlock. Oh, now they're set up instantly on mid. Oh dear, Hellraisers, they're starting to bleed. And for every drop Nygma gets, they get thirstier for the next. They look over towards Roger, Sakuchi on forwards. He's only got a centaur and a mud golem to try and help him out here. They're going to stun up mind control, but unfortunately, Miracle untapped, uncontrolled, and finding himself not just the kill, but the courier right as well. And why Nygma are, there's not actually that many reasons. Because obviously Hellraisers want to hit some timings, right? They want like an uh, Orchid on Quap. They want their Monkey King to have his uh, defusal done. But meanwhile, they don't actually, they're not waiting for these oh, timings. Miracle. Miracle. Oh, that's a beautiful spear coming out from go. Funnick. There we go. They squashed the bug and immediately looking forward for more. But Mike Joel going to throw down the Pit of Malice, making it kind of hard to catch anybody else. Worries, it should lead to a tower, potentially. But no Enigma, they are going to try and go for a battle here. Yeah, the blink reveal onto Maposhka straight away. Yeah, this is one dead shot, and it looks like although the Hand of God's going to come out and try and buy him a little bit of time, but it does make a difference. Maposhka's going to drop, and immediately looking forward for more here as the Sightling connects onto Roger. Funnick makes his way over, though, going to throw that spear back and get Kuro away from Funnick. But Funnick now starting to suffer as they jump up onto the high ground. Miracle and Wee meeting up to bully down Funnick here, and he's got that bug being so annoying, tearing away at him. Miracle easily chases him down, finishes off that kill. Meanwhile, next, I'm not sure this is the area of the map you want to be farming in, my friend. He's going to get himself up to the trees and start jumping through no. to get it. At this pace, Nygma will be able to control the map. Especially, look look at the net worth right now. Underlord and Razor, they're just hugging each other. Like, they're, they're, you're so greedy on Nygma, their distribution of net worth. It really is. And now they're looking forward here. The Wukong's got to come down onto Wii, onto Miracle, onto Kuro, but the damage is being sapped away, but it doesn't really matter. Sonic Web comes cutting on through, and now oh, they have it. They've got Miracle inside the arena with the spear, and they grab the kill. Hellraisers, they fight back, and they fight back hard. Too much, but at the same time, Enigma are pretty scary. Oh, DK mind control, has nobody. Oh dear. 
Yeah, I mean, he's pushing away pretty deep here. You kind of expect that to happen sometimes, but I'm still not sure how good that is. Uh, Miracle. Hold up. This is this is bad. But Wee's coming on over to help out his buddy. The sun comes down from a post. Okay, he gets a ton of damage shoved in his face. Meanwhile, Nyx, he's actually slapped up and getting his damage taken by Kuro here. This could be really bad for Hellrain. I think they need to run themselves away. Unfortunately, Roger, he's just running around in circles in the middle of oh, everything. Oh, neutral creep. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Ancients, very much. But uh, still losing the Chen and the Shaman in response to mind control there. I mean, it, it, it's still... A decent pickoff since uh, since Chen was able to die to the neutral, but Nyx, what are you doing? Are they trying to fight? What? Why is he? Just uh, respect the fact that you don't have arena and just get out. Oh, how are you? That was a strange jump. Uh, I think trying a little bit too much here to try and force the aggression and Nigma, they're, just, they're baiting them out right now. You're, you're falling into their trap. They want you to think that you can fight them and they're just ready. Due to this kind of double move rotation of top now into bot. The monkey even teasing up the top, but the real fight's happening here as Kuro is being silenced up, and I don't think this is a fight. This is just a savage elimination. Although we know why he coming what in. What are you doing? That not, doesn't seem like a good idea. As GH is going to get taken down, the Monkey King arrives, going to throw down the Wukong's command. We, you might be tanky, but I mean, even a tank just... falls to rust eventually, and all those little hits come through. Take... Nigma opting to move around, trying to take the fight in the river where they have their vision. This is actually a pretty okay fight for Nigma, especially with the BKB reveal oh, yeah. on Miracle. This is a big one. There you go. Immediately pop it in there just to finish off the kills with the post but it won't happen just yet. Hand of God comes out to try and help him out, and he's even going to turn around with the chicken, but does eventually die. And it looks like Roger's heading the same way as well. That's going to be a yeah. clean two kills from Nigma and a, uh, oh, Nick, a sleeping on a tree. Not where you want to be. Jumping himself down, but there is an arena of blood coming down, but unfortunately, the BKB trying to help Nix get away. Turns around, and another Sonic Waves comes cutting through, but I'm not sure how much he's going to achieve. He does Ooh, actually get the kill. Miracle, miracle due to the Orchid tick. Gets killed off. Kasani, with the BKB running out shortly, might get caught out here, but a nice blink away going to camp. Hellrose can just turn it into a fight. Nigma, yeah, do, exactly are, they're just not respecting Hellrose as much in this game, I feel like. And the instant smoke. Oh, breaking instantly into the high ground. Yeah, we're well, going to turn around with a stun, but in comes the arena, blocking off Kuro's attempt to actually come into this one and do any kind of damage, separating, closing the door. And they're even going to kill him on the other side of the arena because he's he can't so attack squishy. them. And they can attack back. And now they look over towards Mind Control here. Mind Control on the run, but they're looking for a nice little pickoff. They're not even bothered. They want the towers. They want the big kills. Oh, this bit. oh beautifully done from Funnick. The Moon Lord, he gets it. And now, my control, he's going to get his spaghetti cooked in the trees. See you later, buddy. That is precisely, precisely. Um, he does want to try for the outpost, though. Pound of Strike does connect. If he comes out of Invis, he could be vulnerable. He's got, he got the gem BKB, on the copy, right? right? He's, he's going to have to be KB. He's got oh, miracle. Yeah, it's been a huge Choke point, factor in yeah. this game. Choke points are not Nigma's friend. But and they go finding the jump forwards. Yeah, if they can bring this guy down before he gets that arena off, but it could be big news. But nope, still gets it out and save. Now three heroes just set up beautifully for Kasani. Kasani, he's waiting, he's waiting. He doesn't have it off cooldown, actually, so there's no Sonic Wave to help them Mind out. Control, and just five the, TP. the TP away. Oh, Jesus, they're all dying. They are all dying. We and Kuro gonna drop. The taxi gets cancelled. Miscommunication between the team. They, yeah. they thought they could fight, but yeah. then they just can't. They if he, can't. If he TP'd out there, then Hellrings would have nothing. They couldn't siege, but...
I don't oh, know. Dear me. Maybe it was mind control saying it. Maybe it was someone else. But whoever made that call to try and take the fight, it was a, quite a big joke. <laughs> and again, but you the know, oh, oh, miracle. Oh, oh, miracle, no. In that way right now. No response out from Nigma. 45 seconds left on their Weaver. No chance to see him take in this fight. And, and it, uh, but it gives attack speed, I think. Yeah, make it with exactly. Hydra Stone. Yeah. So a bit, a bit different. But I still just a Silver Edge, a massive pickup from Monkey King, and just the way they're playing right now. Roger, you good, buddy? Well, you are, because Nick's coming in behind, and again, they get the arena with the Wukong's command layered on top, and three heroes inside with no escape. They have got the time lapse on Miracle to try and get him out. Is the TP going to be cancelled? It it's no, it's not. They kill him off. These taxis just keep flying off the road every time they try to drive him. Well, he's going to drop as well. Hellraiser's just bashing Nigma down. The buybacks come through. They I'm need really clutching here, no matter. I really can't find a way that Nigma can turn these fights, especially when your offlaner, for example, is an Underlord. He's an enabling offlane, and it's hard to enable when you're so far behind. Now Kasadi jumping straight away forwards onto Wii. The Lotus going to purge up the side for Meanwhile, Kuro on the back line is going to get eliminated. Meanwhile, the arena comes down, trapping out Wii. Not giving him much option here. Mind Control trying to get the TP up. Can he got Miracle all locked down? Can he get himself out? Yes, they can. Finally, we, we have a taxi him. that arrives. Yeah, as we say, he took us away from this absolute destruction, but does it really matter? You still got the melee racks. Only the melee for now as uh, Wii comes forward. Stun up onto Nyx. Nyx, not bad healthy here. If they can bring him down, it could be something. Jeez. But Cheese, nice and healthy once again. Meanwhile, the Megacreeps have been gotten by the snakes. Nothing they can do. A miracle gets Deleted. cut in half. Scream to death. Meanwhile, G8 still trying to fight. Still trying to fight something. But without the buyback on the Weaver, it's looking less. This might be it. Kuro dying for a second time as we get him beaten down. And the GGs are called. Drawn from the lips of the Nigma players as game number three goes away of Hellraiser under an ultra kill from this butterfly queen of pain, Kasani. What a game. What a HR, they really don't have anything to, they have to a really counter that meeple. They have a bangle. It's That's a great first wave for him. Usually when he can struggle on sometimes, especially versus a hero like Kunkka, but not today. Well, off the top lane, Mind Control dropping pretty low here, and Funny's going to try and chase him through the trees, and that'll be a first blood coming through for Hellraisers once again. It's Blightstone 1, like, there's so many spells being spammed out in this lane, it's going to be such an easy time to cut the one charges, you're going to farm up, like... I don't think bot lane is true in interesting, but mind control top though, playing with the Grim Strike. going on to be a lot of quill. Yeah. A lot of quill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, see many. You, buddy. See you later, mind control. Oh, Deary me, it's 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 not been a clean one and from him. I think he's gonna get himself the double pop in the oh, uh no. quills once again. But bottom lane, they're really good something as well. Here, look at the swap buckle coming through. That's a lot of damage. They're gonna be able to get off a snowball, but is it gonna save him? Not on your life. Meanwhile, Roger getting hit up by GH. I don't think Roger can get out of this one. It's gonna die to the poison touch Wait. it. Yeah, I wasn't ready for this. He's actually also got a stun. He hasn't played many stunning heroes recently. Not really, no. Yeah, literally none. Well, Miracle potentially overstaying his bottom oh, yeah, top the lane. return kill. Is it going to be here in time? Well, it's not because it's Snowball coming in the back. Nick's still chasing here. He's got the quills. Miracle. I highly... Oh, nice what shot. a shot. Oh, he's, no, he's still in range. No, still still in, range. in a range. But Nick's will die for this at the very least. They'll find the turnaround. It's a small respite, but they will take it. Meanwhile, Big Strike Fake coming out onto Roger. GH is like, well, I could try, but doesn't want to. Meanwhile, Smash Buckle onto Kuro. Meanwhile, the X marks the boat all coming down onto GH, and this is looking like it might be the... Oh, the snowball. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, sir. He w oh, uh, he used his Tidebringer as well. Yeah, he did, actually. That's, that's oh, the oh, GH, no, buddy. <laughs> well, I mean, you never know what's really going to happen in the trees. Yeah. There when you Meanwhile, Meepo Free Farms. 84 and 5 currently. The man's got money, and Maposka, he's got a net around him, which he doesn't want right oh. now. Shadow Wave helping out as well for the big hits onto Maposka. Meanwhile, bottom, Mind Control dying again, but Nyx, now the return looks like it's coming on through, but Funnick is here right-clicking into GH, but there's a lot of heroes coming in for this one. But the and one of them is we. Oh dear, here's the damage. They kill off GH, and now they look towards Funnick, and it's going to yeah. be the return. The trade is made, and I think we he'll take that one. We are literally playing across the entire map. Yeah. Killing it. Miracle taking some hits here. Still doesn't have a level in that shallow grave. Normally would help him out much here anyway. He's slowed up. He's getting beaten down. Turns around with a heal, but he will lose his life in the end. And then you go for that Greaves. You're then playing for your Meepo, which will most likely this game. I'd expect it to be uh, E-Blade into Skardi. You want the Skardi against the Bristleback and also the catch onto the Weaver. Talking of going on to Bristleback. GH is well and truly on top of him, punching up into the air, and Nix is going to lose his life. Meanwhile, finally coming in around the bad lines, trying to look for Miracle. But the get forward up. He's being beaten down. There's no counterplay here. Just a silence out on him, and he can't get rid of it in time. Does lose his life. Meanwhile, Roger comes rolling onto the side here but gets connected up with that leash should still be able to get forward onto miracle here shallow grave only going to increase his death time but he still is going to drop meanwhile in comes the meepo here comes How'd the big guns starting in some trouble right now by some trouble i mean he's absolutely dead 
dead to rights. Roger now the last survivor member. Swashbuckle forwards might buy him a little bit of time. Shards off the mark as well, but their snowball is certainly not. Can't be. Roger gonna get run down under the tower. Still running himself away. Gonna heal up a little bit, make himself a little bit more tackle with the shield crash, but still kills off. That is a not a good trade for him. He used so much to try and kill off this Dazzle. He used X, Torrent, Boat, and after that, you then kind of leave yourself questioning. How do we kill the, the, the Meepo now? This is probably the best play that Hellraiser can make right now. Trying to do this continued aggression. Yeah, it's Miracle is. surviving for now, but Kuro won't be so lucky. I think Miracle might be going down on the but same snowball. Going to try and buy him a little bit of time, but meanwhile, around the back, Hassan, he's got Meepo troubles, and he's not going to live through this one. Meanwhile, Nick's going killing off in the shards. It's a trade, but it's not a good one. It is Miracle for three. As uh, we, once again, you know, when he's there, things do not go Hellraiser's way. For example, the Bristol back, who will be quite tanky, get that time lapse off, then of course, Demipo is in the wrong position. You layer that with the Pangolier, with the Kunk of the boat, then you might be in a good position. Like, Nick, but they are all around this Meepo, but unfortunately, Nick yeah. overstepping his mark. Ow, oof, ow, ow, is uh, yep. tanky, but not tanky enough, unfortunately. Gets They've actually been able to deward most of the wards from Hellraisers in this area as well, so. Yeah, there might be an opportunity, and in comes Roger, trying to jump We've over the cliff, the will be able to do so, Roshan is low, it's an option here, Funnick trying to get in, but they've got the lasso onto two with the soul fight of Funnick, he just gets chopped up, immediately Roshan goes down, We takes the Aegis, Roger not sure what to do with himself, a boat comes crashing onto the Meepos, but they don't really care, they're just going to turn around, annihilate Roger, meanwhile they're up on the high ground looking for more as well, Kasani getting his face beaten in by the rest of Nygma as we make way over as well, Snowball forwards onto the Poshka, the I Chantress in some trouble, turning around, finds himself a spear, a cheeky kill onto GH, but I mean, one for five. It's not looking too pretty right now for these poor Hellraiser boys. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a pretty safe game for him right now. Silver Edge as well, going to do a lot of work when you're killing heroes like the Enchantress or so forth. Bristleback, disabling the health regen somewhat as uh, he's going to go in here, but Rolling Thunder just going to make the kill take a little they bit longer. can't waste too many spells here. He has the Aegis. If you waste Boat on the respawn of Meepo, it will just yeah, be a free fight. And that tanky, but I mean, with the Dazzle coming in from behind, just pumping him full of heals right now. They're just retreating. It's yeah. just defensive spell usage. This really Roger isn't that much of a fight. on everybody, trying to make sure that Leech doesn't connect. With a Fisher comes through, they'll be able to kill off the Meepo at least once here. Meanwhile, Miracle still just coming in from the sidelines, trying to do as much as he can. We respawns, but Funic just kind of hanging around the sidelines. Gonna throw down a Spirit Vessel onto GH. Trying to get him on the side. Meanwhile, oh no, Roger, he's been caught out somewhat. Surrounded by Meepos. Absolutely encapsulated in a shell of the Meeps. And so they're gonna be able to kill him off. They haven't actually really converted this into anything. Like, you've used an Aegis to get a kill on a Pangolier, and that's about it. Yeah, the tier two Maybe should be full of here. as well. Yeah. Oh dear. This is a little Fawn, which does not want to be in this way. And oh, beautiful shards actually catching out Nyx, forcing him the long way around. He's able to dodge out one net, but how many can he dodge out? One Pangolier. is the Goodbye only there. answer, a buyback for the Pangolier. They're going to try and make this happen, but they're running out of health on this Bristleback real damn fast. He's going to drop, conquer in the middle of everything, along with and Roger dive trying to do something, trying to do anything, but all they are doing is dying and dying and dying again. Roger penned in, GG's are called, and the game goes to Nigma in 22 minutes flat. This is why you don't let the Meepo through. This is why you don't set yourself up to be weepo this hard. Yeah, yeah. In case that Morphin gets enough farm, I think he should be able to carry this quite easily. He's yeah. free at this point in top lane, so he's going to have a pretty chill time, and that's kind of what Nygma want, right? They want to be able to play as four, and then play into the aggression of Hellraiser. Poshka, Poshka, get beaten down. That's going to be Miracle finding that kill. Looking in towards Roger as well. Roger in some trouble, but he turns around and thwacks Miracle, a fat one, but unfortunately should be going down himself. Can Nyx find the kill onto GH in response? The Quilt's coming out, but he's got a score. Good job, Kasani. But it's nice to see mind control with, with a start to the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing stuff. Meanwhile, Kuro, he's doing stuff as well. Unfortunately, the stuff he is doing is dying. Maybe not ideal. Miracle way under the tower here. Able to find himself a creep or two. Nick's following it as well. And they just don't want him to get anything. They're like, oh, are you trying to get creeps, pesky Miracle? No, 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 sir. Chasing him down, chasing him away. And uh, Miracle going to be sent back once again. Got to get that strength more coming. He's, he's morphing very late here, but with the wand helping him out a little bit. Meanwhile, no, he's gone. He's gone. GH trying to survive on the front lines here, but he's got the goo, they've got the impetus, they've got the quills, they've got the kill. GH gonna go down as well, and they're not done. Kuroki's gonna be the next target here, turns around with the stroke of fate, trying to land it onto two, but landed onto none. Has an ink swell, so that's gonna make him a less appealing target. But still, this is the end, I think, off this grim stroke as a stomp comes down onto his face. Miracle coming back into this one, though. More from that Adji, trying to get some right clips off of Roger here, and is doing a decent amount of damage. But Mposhka comes forward as well, but they've got the shards to block off Roger's escape. 
GH on top of him as well. They've got the tag team. There's the damage. There's the kill. Now they look back towards GH though. Hellraiser's looking for aggression, but Popoke is in trouble. Has to run away from Miracle here. He's got a lot of damage. Thankfully, there's creeps under the tower though, so that's not going to be attacking Popoke and allow him to just turn around. Get a cheeky impetus tour off on the retreat, but I don't think we've got. Well, we got shards in two seconds. They might be tempted here. GH is not very healthy though, and should give his life for this kill. But Popoke will go down nonetheless. Snowball comes out, GH on the run, and Nyx is trying to chase here. Nice blocks out from Miracle, and that's going to save the life off the Tusk. Up in the fact that you don't really have a Morphling, so you go double Necro level 1. You have that push potential, a lot of pressure. Uh, maybe, but the Wave Clear is, is a bit, is, is kind of decent. But if you kill the Necros, it's 600 damage per oh, Necro. Dearie oh, dearie me, Miracle, Miracle underestimating the damage off those Quills and the Impetus as the pressure comes in from around the side. The Morphling it, they're knowing how to execute. It's the beauty of the game, right? Like, completely... Almost in identical drafts. Well, well, Maposhka, Maposhka. Oh, yeah, she's going to lose her life, Snowball. And uh, Miracle's damage comes through. The key thing as well is Miracle is the one who's TP'd in. These kills. Yeah. He's looking for Roger, and Roger might be oh, gotten here. Not on the stroke of fate off the mark. Roger still running himself away. Miracle trying to chase him down as well. Adaptive Strike going to come in, but it looks like Roger will survive for now. Meanwhile, Nyx, well, they're looking at him, but Funnet comes rolling on through, and Roger does eventually tick away to the Poison Touch. Meanwhile, Nyx on the run, still trying to survive this one. Meanwhile, they're going to get Kuro in response, but Ooh. now the heavy hit has come through. Well, he's going to drop like a rock. Meanwhile, Miracle trying to make his way through the trees. He's got that Necro book. He's, he's looking to have some... Uh some impact taking away this tier two, but again, Hellraiser is no. quick to respond. No. My control. <laughs> My control, no, not like this. We just we just called it. Oh dear. He's, he's still alive for the time being. Nah, mate. No, no. Yeah. no. Cast a curse. Yeah, cause. They're sacrificing farm on certain heroes just to ensure that they have numbers advantage. Like these two teams honestly playing such good like dota when they're ahead. Oh, uh, Splurt coming on through. They might have found themselves a wee, but the Snowball comes through to save them from the Earth for the right now. Meanwhile, NK come, getting them both inside. Uh, miraculous uh, shards there, along with the Soulbind, but it doesn't He's really matter. We've been down to the low ground once again, but unfortunately it gets followed down by Funnick. Oh, and <laughs> are identifying the fact that they want to try and fight and end the game within the next 10 minutes. That's yeah. why they're going for these types of items. Someone is taking our outpost, but we can't see them. I wonder what's going on here, but GH still in uh, a spot of bother, but at least he's going to make some space for his uh, Morphling to get out. And uh, that was the, uh, the Orchid reveal as well. Bristle back to very deep top lane. Morphling already TPing in. You've got the entire of Hellraiser is now trying to collapse. Oh, Nicholas, sorry, trying to collapse on this. Yeah, and they're turning into him, stealing that goose, stealing that minus armor. Roar is out as well, and everyone on Nygma getting on top. And Nyx right now, Nyx, he's got Quills, he's got Crimson Guard, but unfortunately it doesn't really matter. They're going to be able to bring down the Bristle. And that's your big tanky core. So many times before across the series, and I don't think it's going to change too much. Yep, there goes the X, and Mind Control's probably chuckling to himself. He's like, this is the best you can do, cool, no worries. Yeah, he's, he's not that bothered, but uh, he's just a split push machine. There is someone in his home right now, trying to cut off and there's a, his there's escape a, a little bit. Pesky he's, invader. He's saying invis, my control, he's pinging though, he realizes something's wrong. Another stomp comes out, but doesn't connect, but luckily with the defusal, it'll make it nice and easy to control up mind control. Though once again, the slit does miss, and he's just running around with the X marks here, which he's also causes them. Yeah, I mean, he's still dead. But look at instantly, you've got mid being pushed out, bottom being caught by the by the task. Like these pickoffs aren't amounting to anything. Lingering in the neighborhood a little bit too long, boils down to another kill, most likely converting into a tier two tower. And it looks like Nygma, they're ready to fight now. They've got their BKB up on the Morphling, nearly the highest net worth here in the game. In fact, a couple of right clicks will uh, a couple of last hits will bring him up there. Looking very, very strong for them right now. Meanwhile, Kuro is getting beaten down by Nyx here. And in comes a Shallow Grave coming out just in time from Wee to keep Kuro alive for the time being. Meanwhile, Funnick coming in around the back lines. But they've still managed to bring down Kuro. And Mind Control being locked down as well here. So oh, he has the gem as well. No. Ooh, Mind Control giving away a gem. Yeah. He's yeah, more patient with the fight. He can observe, wait for the Soulbind to be wasted or a Raw to be wasted. And then he gets to connect. He can ult from afar, utilize that blink to just get into the fight straight away. So yeah, it's a really good pickup. Still, he needs the Lincoln to simplify the game even further. Oh, Funnick looking for something here. We'll actually find him on the back lines, but Poshko has already been taken out here. Looks like we might be having our first fight for a very long time. Mind Control going to be the target. Meanwhile, Soulbind comes out onto Raw. Going to come out onto both of them as well. Funnick just getting beaten down. Nick's up into the front lines of this one, but the BKP's pop for a miracle from Wii as they manage to take down Wii. Uh, Funnick, now they look over towards Kuro, who's not lasting very long whatsoever. Meanwhile, though, Miracle's able to take down Roger on the back lines. The GH gets a spear thrown as well. They just turn around and annihilate back. the poor little Enchantress. Nick's realizing this fight is probably over and going for the team. TP away will be successful. Meanwhile, shards come oh, down, nice catching out Conker, but he's got the invis. Defensive ward that it just placed in the entry to their jungle, but that's about it. Miracle doesn't care about this. 
Yeah, you want to uh, you want to torrent me? You want to throw spells on me? Cool, happy to do so. Uh, Shadow Grave coming out, I guess. Sure, why not? Keep him safe. Oh. Uh, okay. That was a satanic use as well, I think I heard that. Meanwhile, Miracle being beaten down pretty hard here, but does pop that BKP and actually going up to the high ground. Clearly wanting to fight this one, but they're causing some havoc in the back lines as Kuro's already been dropped. Miracle now going to be the target for now. We help him out from the sidelines, but now that BKP's over. The Xbox is going to come out on Tim. Raw being thrown down on the sidelines, though. They're trying to bring down Miracle. Shadow Grave down on Tim once again. The Raw going to finish off Roger. Now they look over towards getting more. Nick's throwing out some sticky goo onto some heroes. Meanwhile, they're just going to actually go and heal up over by the creeps, and yeah, let's go. Morphling's actually going for the Silverage as well, identifying the fact that they need to eat through some of these tankier heroes. Quite a nice little pickup. Yeah, and he's just back for this one, though, so... Oh, that smoke just smoke. could be tricky. BKB actually popped from Roger, but he's punched up into the end. They're turning around on the mic control. Look at the damage. They ripped through him in seconds. Roger does time responses. Miracle comes in, and he is dishing out a decent amount himself, but having used his BKB early could set him up into an awkward position, but he's going down to the low ground. Looking for Funny, but Funny, he's going to connect with the enchanters. Meanwhile, look at Nyx tearing through Kuroki, doing so much damage, and looking forward to more here. Turns around a Miracle. It's a big, beefy fight right now. Miracle is not winning that badly. Meanwhile, GH trying to roll in on the sidelines here, trying to get something done and try and buy space for his teammates to get out, but that's not going to happen. GH. He's going to lose his life in the end as the Shadow Grave not going to keep him alive, but they turn it around. The Roar is out onto Nyx. Is anybody going to help him here? He's all by himself. He's all alone. Having am doing nothing as they run him through. Down goes Nyx in response. He does have a buyback. Trying to commit so heavily onto a Morphling with limited lockdown. And then you have this Dazzle as well. Got the defensive BKB pumping out Graves, pumping out consistent heals. The control of the Hex is... It's so hard for Hellraiser to take these fights. They've done so well to get to a Game 5, to take it all the way to 40 minutes in this game, but... Their drafts let them down at this point. They they had such an early timing, and I feel like I really feel like this Kunker needed to go for the cleave talent. Cute disarm instant Manta, but they, like Hellraiser know that if they buy back here, Nigma just reset, open up, open up the map, and then they're going to go for more pick offs. But now you're two racks down. Getting over here, this is going to be a Roshan going down. But wait a minute, look how got stacked it is. He's got Nagonims. Who's taking the Ags? Uh, mind control. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, who? Oh, grab oh, the Ag. Oh, Morphling. Interesting. Do you just want to stack up Miracle a little bit more? Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? He's already jacked. One more rep won't harm anyone. But now Hellraiser, the, in the, again, the classic. Trying you, to you take hold ages, this high ground. Well, he's a great target. Can they bring him down in time, though? Abyssal comes out on him, trying to bring nice down Weir. They do get the kill, but he buys back immediately. They want to take this one. They see the end of the game is inside, but Kuro's going to lose his life as well. No buyback on him. Miracle just trying to fight up into Roger, but Roger is in. Fizz can't be killed. Nyx, meanwhile, going to get... Dips. Silver Edge out on him, the Raw coming through as well. Nyx cannot die here, does not have buyback as they chase him around the fight, but they're looking for a different target instead. Miracle gonna find Roger, stay on top of the other Titan. Meanwhile, punch out onto Nyx. Nyx losing his life, getting low, getting low fast, and he is dead, does have he buyback. Has buyback. Coming back into it. Meanwhile, Roger trying to run away on the sidelines with the cover of the Glimmer Cape, will be able to do so. Miracle still chasing, though, he's looking for more. Roger dies in the back lines, and now the Hex immediately onto Nyx, but he looks to hold Kalasani in second. Sunny gonna pop the BKB, but the punch is out. Nyx, not again! It's the exact same way he died the first time, but it looks like there's not much gonna help him out here. We with the cheese keeping himself alive. And Nick is going to die for a second time over. 135 seconds to end this game. And they're just going to call it there. The GGs come out. And Nigma, they prove that there is a reason they call EU the strongest region. And they will take game number five. And with it, the series. Nigma are victorious. Hellraisers, they had a hell of a run.